Hello everyone, my name is Alex and today I'm going to show you a new Wix code tutorial. I'm going to show you how to link Google Map using Wix database. So let's get started. So I have here my example already. I'm going to show you before explaining you all the code. So this is my home page. I have uh, six locations. I have the Fell Tower in Paris, Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, Burj Khalifa in Dubai, Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, Big Ben in London, and the Colosseum in Rome in Italy. So if I click in uh, Burj Khalifa, Dubai, look what happens. A dynamic page will pop up and it will show me exactly the location of the Burj Khalifa. Let's go back and let's uh, select the uh, Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. And here it is, Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. The same if I click on any others like Golden Gate Bridge. And here it is, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Okay, you are curious on how to do this, so let's get started. Okay, so first thing, I create a database here and called location. In this database, as you can see, I have country, city, attraction, latitude, and longitude. So the first three, country, city, and attraction are text field. If you click on manage the field, you will see here the field type is text. So this, is, this goes for country, city, and attraction. But for latitude and longitude, these two are number uh, field type. So this is very important. It's crucial. If you put here text or anything else, it won't work. So just remember, for latitude and longitude, it's always, always number type. So the way I got these uh, coordinates is just from Google uh, Maps. If you write any location, for example, now I write Big Ben London, I will have it here just below spin. If you click it, you will have here the latitude and the longitude, which you can click on. So just copy the latitude, which is the first one, and the longitude, which is the second one. Okay. So then you have just to copy the same coordinates. Okay. So once you've done that, let me just add this minus sign, which I didn't add it here. Minus. Okay. So once you have your coordinates, you can start working in this way. The first thing to do is to create a dynamic page, which I did already here. Okay. So, as you can see here, this page has nothing but a uh, da uh, dynamic data set, which is already created once you create your uh, dynamic page. And here there is a Google map, which I, I selected from the menu. And the last one selection, which is more, and you go down to maps, to Google maps. just here Google Maps and then you can you can select any all of them work I just selected this one because it's the most famous one so once you have a Google, your Google map you have to code it in this way this is the code here but I will rewrite for you so you can understand in a better way The first thing to do 
is to click on the data set and activate its own ready event. If you don't find this uh, uh, small menu here, you have just to click on the right button, view properties, and this one will pop up here. So here, I just have to click on already function. Click on the plus sign and press enter. Now, inside this code, inside this function, you have to write your code. Let's start calling a variable. Let current item equal to $W dynamic data set period get current item so by calling this option get get current item we are telling that data set to get the item inside the database so this is very important so then we will continue this way w Google Maps one period location you have it here equal so now we are defining the location depending on the coordinates we have on the da database so open brackets then press enter so here let's uh, Define the first uh, um, the first uh, uh, field in the dat database, which is the latitude. So inside the quotation marks, let's write latitude current item dot latitude. So why it's latitude here? Because I'm taking the same field in the database, which is latitude. And as you can see, here it's capital L. But we should take this one on the field key. If you don't remember which one is, just go inside the database, click on the field key, copy this value, and then just paste it here. Like this. So in this way, this map now is taking the latitude inside the database. So now we have to define the longitude variable. So we put a comma and we go down and we repeat the process. But in this time we write longitude. Longitude current item period longitude and it is longitude because the same for latitude we have to take the same field key in the database then we still need the description what is the description a description is just this one you can see here in the map, I have this uh, label Wix Office. The description is whatever goes inside this white box. So you can uh, basically put anything you want. Just to make this simple now, I will show you how it looks like when I put the name of the attraction. So description, current item, that attraction. Attraction because here I want to show inside the white box these values Eiffel Tower, Golden Gate Bridge, Burj Khalifa, and so on. So that's why I put this one. If I put city, it will show this. If I put country, it will show this. We can even combine them. We can to make it more professional to make it look like uh, um, Eiffel Tower 
Paris, France. I will show you later how to do this as well. But let's keep it simple for now. So once you have this, it's already set. Your uh, dynamic page is ready. I will show you now what it looks like. Okay, now it's retrieving the effect power because it's the first one on the database. But if I choose one from the from a list I created pre previously, let's click on Dubai Bush Khalifa. You see, it shows me the Bush Khalifa in Dubai. Now let's go back and click on Big Ben London. It shows me the Big Ben in London. Even if you click on Rome Colosseum, it shows me the Colosseum in Rome. Okay. So here in the home page, I just created a table from uh, the list and grids menu, which is one, the red one. You can select any one you want. And then I create a data set and I connect this uh, table to the data set. And I just selected the fields I want. Now for this one, I put country, city, and attraction data. And then link it to the to the right uh, dynamic page link. So this is the code. You have it here, and it's working properly and very fast as well. So I will show you now what I was saying to you before. How to customize this white box? You see here a UX office. For example, let's say that you don't want to show only the attraction uh, value, but you want to show in a more professional way, let's say attraction value plus city plus country name. For example, Eiffel Tower, comma, Paris, comma, France. How we do that? So after attraction, we give a space, then we add the plus sign, and then we add inside the quotation marks. We had a comma, and then after the comma, we had a space. I will show you why, I will explain to you why. Then plus. Current item, period, we say we add the uh, city. Now we add the country name. So, again, as before, plus quotation marks, comma, space after comma. plus current item county name let me just check if I put inside the country name because I don't remember ah yes it's only country you see be careful to what you write here it's only country so I sh I'm gonna correct this so we just copy here and here, instead of country name, just country. That's it. So now we should have, if everything is correct, the name of the attraction inside the map, plus attraction, plus the city, plus the country. Let's preview it. OK, you see it's working. We have a felt tower, comma, Paris, comma, France. And you know, now you understand why I put the comma and the space after. If I wouldn't put the space, I would have Paris 
and a cell tower very attached, which is very bad. I will show you. Let's see without space here. If I delete this space, see what happens. So you can see here, everything is so close. Eiffel Tower, comma, Paris, comma, France, without any space, which is not nice. The, the same here, Sagrada Familia, comma, Barcelona, comma, Spain. So just this small tick will help you a lot and will make a big difference to your website. So just keep in mind this small trick I show you here for your next code. Here it is. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial and let me know in the comments if you have any doubts. By the way, uh, if you like this video, please uh, like it, comment and subscribe to, to not miss any up updates about my channel. I will soon upload more videos, so stay tuned and thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.